Okay, everybody, we are back. <laughs> All right, with best-selling author Julie Edelman, a.k.a. The Accidental Housewife. Yes, yeah, she's sharing some tried and true tips to help us navigate our ready and ready our homes and mindset for the holiday. So let's get going. We need to figure out how to help, how to remove tarnish from yes. our silverware. Well, I'm sure you all have it, right? And yeah. We use it never, except when we have Thanksgiving. Right. So this is really simple. First, let's see. I know I've sort of given this away because you can see it now, but hey. Um, if you didn't know this, you might have thought that mustard would actually clean uh, tarnished silver because of the acidity in it. Yeah. yeah. But not so. It's ketchup. Really? Because ketchup has the um, acetate in it that breaks down. It's the tomatoes. Oh, yeah. So you leave it in here for about 15 minutes. Okay. okay. And then, excuse me, thank it's you. Okay. I am accidental. You wipe it off and hopefully, like, uh, I love it when things work. Oh, Look wow. how clean that is. Oh, yes. Wow. And by the way, you can get some of the Nipsing crannies using a toothbrush. toothbrush. Hopefully not the one you've used in the morning. Right. Although no, that's it, great. But Look these are, that. What's great, too, is these are all non-toxic right. and things mm -hmm. you have around the house. Yeah, totally. Awesome. And it works on your uh, your jewelry as well if you have Oh, fine. my gosh. Yeah. yeah. So next up, okay. You have dishes, and maybe they have a little crack in them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that crack can either be fixed by... Again, you could use what? White wine vinegar. Okay. okay. But really, the real trick here is using milk. Because, That's crazy. Well, milk has the proteins. What you would do here is you put it on the stove. You put. Mm -hmm. You need to cover the dish, which you've seen the little crack in. And it's not yeah. for big cracks. If the dish is broke, check it's it out. Okay. Right. But for something like this, <coughs> um, you okay? Yep. I'm Sorry. choking you yep. up. I do that. Um, so you cover it as much as you need, and then you put it on a low heat for an hour. Let it cool. And then, voila, here we go. Watch this. Crack be gone. Where Wait, was the crack? Where was the crack? Exactly, you can't see the crack. Okay. Really? So, yeah. It's, okay, it's I got it. Magic, that's magic, nuts. magic, magic. That's good. All right, so really there you good. go. All so, right. got milk, you got a crack removal. Okay, what all do right. we got going on here? Next here, all right, uh, we are removing cranberry stains. So let's say they're on here as so, like a so. Okay, we got that on. Ah, the I, worst. I'm really gloppy and, you know, what Oh my God. Yeah. We always put too much. So what will remove cranberry stains? Is it rubbing alcohol or hairspray? Hairspray. Uh, I was gonna say, you would think this, but it's that. It's actually both. Ah. Oh! So you're both right. But what you would wanna do first is remove it all, okay, mm -hmm. because you don't wanna have that. Okay. And with all of stains, you never want to blot them. You want don't to blot. I'm sorry, you want to blot, not oh. rub. It, oh, don't, don't rub. Blot. Don't blot. Rub. Sorry, okay. I can't talk and it's okay. remove at the same time. It's all right. So what you would do, first you would try, because this is handy, some of the hairspray, and mm -hmm. you just go, mm, and you would leave it on there because the alcohol in there will help lift the yeah. same. Now, if that oh, doesn't wow. work, you can create a mixture of rubbing alcohol and white wine vinegar. Oh. And what I like to do is put it in your little dish. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a great and, idea. And you sponge it, lift it, and then launder par usual. Nice. Okay, okay next up. All right, Uncle John loves his gravy oh, yes. a little too much. <laughs> a little too much, okay. right? But, all right, so the gravy is on there. It's We've right done. here. Well, we'll put a little more just for okay. effect. But what the important thing here is to remove is the oils in the gravy. Okay. That's what sets the stain. So you would have that on and once again either get Fido to remove it and lick it off okay. or just remove it the handy dandy okay. way. Okay. To absorb that, do you think you would use rice or would you use baking soda? I would use baking soda. Yeah, right, baking soda. Yes, you are both yeah. right. Yay. Because that will absorb the oils. Yeah. And you leave it on there and if this falls on the carpeting as well, you just put oops. I am accidental as we know. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you just good. leave it on there for a little bit. And if you don't have baking soda, Powder. Baby powder? Oh, baby powder, okay. Because it's also an absorbent. Huh. Right, and then just like, launder it. And right. just, all right. of these are launder. By the way, when you launder them, if the stain is still there, do not put it in the dryer because the stain will remain. Ah. Uh, and the other important thing is, okay, I've been drinking a little too much wine. My Aunt Anna loves a little too much. So, oh, here oh, we go. Geez. There goes oh. that nice white shirt. What do we do? Oh, well, first of all, we cut Aunt Annie off from drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> and then what actually you have choices. Do you think that you would get it out with white wine? Would you get it out with vodka or perhaps tequila or none oh. of these? Oh, vodka. I like tequila. <laughs> Just you are all right. All yeah. of these work because really? they all have alcohol. Now, white wine's great because it has an enzyme in it, in, in it that will actually diffuse some of the color. And as put something, a towel underneath, because if you don't, you might have two stains 
instead of wine. See how that diffuses? Oh my gosh, it? look at and that. And it's gone. And the same thing with vodka or tequila. And depending on your choice, or if the stain remains, take a shot right. and then it'll look blurry and everything will <laughs> be perfect. Oh, great idea. I like that. Wow, Good great stuff. tips. Well, there you have it. Thank yeah. you so much. Well, thank you. And congrats again on the book. Yeah, thank you. A little bit of faction goes a long way. Faction. In, in faction. Creation. There you yeah. go. It that's creates, a new one. That's, yeah. that's my term. Jules Malone is a little bit me and a lot of fantasy and there a lot you go. of other things. Okay. So, Very good, thank Julie. You. Thank Happy you so holidays. much. Happy Same holidays. Happy holidays to you, too. Yeah. Spread I feel the like glove. I'm prepped, yes. Yes, yeah. I know. Spread the glove. <laughs> <laughs> She's good.